thanks for tuning in to my workout today. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the Gym Raw channel so that you get all the latest workouts from me and the other trainers. Hey guys, what's up? It's Shelby. Welcome to your 20 minute full body hit workout. All you will need today is a set of light to medium weights, yourself, maybe a mat, some water and a towel. And when you are ready, let's get started right into that warm up. We're gonna start today with some body weight squats. Take it three, two, one. We take it down and squeeze up. So right away, I want us to really focus on getting that weight back into the heels but also squeezing the glutes as we get up to the top, right? Set up that form right from the start. You got 10 seconds more here. Can you get a little bit lower? Those legs should be starting to wake up. Five, three, two, good. Now we're gonna take it to buck kickers, getting those hamstrings. So get that heel to glute right away. Option to put your hands behind the glutes. Feel that heel really, really kick that glute, you got this. Pick it up, squeezing the hamstring each time. Let's go, let's go. 10 seconds. Keep that breath. Nice steady motions, five, three, two, one. We're gonna take it back to our squat this time. Kick it out to the right, squat down, kick left. Whoo, yes. It's like kickboxing right here. Right into it today. Take it. Doing everything with purpose, even in the warm up. 10 seconds. You've got five. You've got three. Two. One. Last little bit right here. Seal jacks. Arms come out to a T. We take it in. Clap it. Nice, so this is gonna warm up those arms along with the rest of our body. 15 seconds. Keep a slight bend in the knees. 10 seconds. Can you speed it up right here? Last little bit. Three, two, one. Good, deep inhale in. Exhale, let's just take a nice forward fold to start, stretch out those hamstrings. Put your hands on top of your shins, straighten out the spine, and then one more time, bend down, bend the knees. Take it up to standing. Let's take that right tricep behind the head, grabbing behind the elbow, getting a nice stretch before we get started. Switch it out left. Nice. Good, and then I want you to come back to center, take a few torso twists side to side, wake up the core, wake up the obliques and let's get right into it. So if you have your weights, I want you to grab them. We're gonna start with 30 seconds of a bicep curl, all right? That means your palms are gonna face out today. You have a slight bend in the knees, we curl up for 30, that's where we're starting, okay? I'll give you five seconds to grab those weights, and then let's get started. Five, three, two, right here, take it up. I want you to squeeze the biceps. Technically, if you didn't even have weights right here, you should still be able to feel it because of that strong squeeze. Take it down, up. We're here for 15 more seconds. Should be starting to get a little bit heavy. If not, try to just squeeze those biceps a little bit stronger. Five, three, Two, keep going, but your palms face in. We're in a hammer curl now. Same thing, still working the biceps. One minute of bicep work. <sighs> Breathing in and down. You've got 20 seconds here. If you need to, remember we can always alternate side to side, but I challenge you today to try something different. If we never try it, we'll never get stronger. Five seconds. Three. Two, one, good, place those weights down. Give your arms a little shake. We're gonna take it to the legs. We're having a front squat. So we're gonna take those weights up on the shoulders, all right, from the side. You're gonna do just like we did in the warm up, but with weights, you're gonna take it down front squat, squeeze it up. So that booty's gonna come down 
as low as we can, weight in the heels, and we squeeze it up. That's where we're going. First 30 seconds, let's do this. Three, two, one, weights up. You take it down, you squeeze. Down, squeeze, good. We're here for 30. 30 seconds to try something new. Maybe today you wanna to try to get a little lower. Maybe you really wanna focus on the knees. Maybe you're just trying to get your glutes nice and squeezed so that you can feel the muscles getting tired. In three, two, we're gonna add a press overhead. Take it down, press it up as you stand. Down and press, good. Keeping the breath, keeping the squat. Each move here with intention and up. Beautiful, keep going, squeeze it up. Use that momentum from your legs to get the weight up. Three, two, one. Good, carefully drop those weights. Give yourself a shake, give yourself a second. We're gonna keep on the legs. Single leg deadlift, all right? We're gonna do something a little different though. We're gonna add in a row. So you have options. Right leg comes out, left leg behind. Slight bend in both knees. We take it down, palms face in, weights are down. Once we're down here, we row to the side, elbows back, stand it up. Now, if you want more, you can test that balance. Row, stand it back up, okay? We're gonna start 30 seconds on the right and then 30 seconds on the left. Let's do it. Right leg forward, we go in three, in two, in one. Option to test that balance, row it up, set it up, right? We come down into that deadlift first, then we row, step it up. Come down, close row, step it up, good team. Nice and slow down, squeezing the hamstring. Make sure you have a micro bend in that knee. Almost there, almost there. Three, two, one more, one more. Down nice and low, row it back. One, take it up, right into the left side. Left leg comes down, we row it down. Tilt it up. You wanna focus one thing at a time. Deadlift, row, up. Now, if this is too much, remember, you can use both legs on the ground. Row and up. If both legs are down, you have a slight bend in both knees. Stand it up. Down slow, can you go a little slower? Breathe it. Keep going. Row. The gaze should be right in front of you on the ground, somewhere about four feet in front, right? Gotta keep that neck in line. We got three, two, one. Drop the weights, shake it out. Back to the arms, let's do it. Tricep dip, or tricep extension actually. We're gonna take those weights up overhead, grab your light to medium weights. Elbows are gonna bend nice and tight to the face. We take it back and in. So avoid this, right? We really wanna be close in, as close as we possibly can towards the face, okay? Here we go. 30 seconds there. We go in three, in two, in one, take it up, squeeze it. Nice. Extend down and up, keeping those elbows in. That's half the work. Squeezing it. Good. Focusing on just that hinge in the elbow. Take it down 10 seconds. You're still here. Full range of motion. Nice. You've got five, three, to hold it here as low as you can and pulse, pulse with that weight nice and close to the back of your head. It should be getting heavy. That means it's working, it's changing. Hold it, 15 seconds, keep pulsing. Keep that pulse right here, five seconds. Squeeze the elbows in a little tighter. You've got three, two, and one. Slowly drop those weights down, shake it out. Next round, I want you to grab your light weights. We got some punches, some rows. We're gonna stay with the arms. You're gonna take those weights. One leg steps in front of the other. I like to have my left leg in front. We punch it out with the weights. One punch each side. Then we take the arms down, palms face in. 
we upright row, okay? That's where we're going, let's do it. Three, and two, and one. We punch side to side, palms face us, lift up side to side right here, upright row. So you're working the shoulders and the back. Yeah, don't forget about that back, right? We got many more muscles than just starting our arms and our legs. We gotta get them all. Keep going right here, 10 seconds. Again, it's not about the speed. It's more about the purpose behind each movement. Five, three, two, right here we're gonna double it out. So you punch, punch, right? Punch, punch, double, row. Let's take it, other side, punch, punch left. Punch, punch right, double row. I feel it in my arms, I hope you feel it. Keep going. Punch, punch, up. Nice, as you're punching, can you keep that opposite hand to protect your face? Good. Three, two, one. Drop those weights, shake it out. Staying with the arms, just because we gotta burn them out, right? We gotta feel it. We're gonna take those weights, 90 degree lateral raise. So your elbows are gonna be nice and tight into your sides. We take it out 90 degrees so that our palms face down, back in. Okay, that's where we're going at first. So you got five seconds, grab your light weights. We go in three, we go in two, we go in one, elbows in, lateral raise, take it back, up and down. So your palms are facing each other, and then as you come up, they're facing the mat. Nice, good team. Again, we're squeezing the back, don't forget about the back. Down, in, 10 seconds, keep the breath. Five, three, Two, now hold your palms out so that the weights and the um, are facing out and your elbows are in. We're just gonna squeeze, pulse right here, squeeze, squeeze in. So you're really flexing those shoulder blades together right here. You should feel it. It's like I have a pencil in between the shoulder blades and you don't wanna let it go, you're squeezing. It's a small movement, but it's super powerful. You have five seconds. You have three, you have two. You have one, drop it down. Whew, that was a lot of arm work. Shake out the arms, shake out the arms. We're gonna come back into the legs a little bit. So you're gonna take a sumo squat. That means that your toes face out. It's a wide leg squat. Option to take your weights. I like to hold them down right here. It just helps my balance a little bit. You're gonna take them down and just sumo squat, okay? I want you to focus though on those knees tracking back. You wanna avoid coming forward. Same thing as a regular squat. Keep that weight back. Let's do it right here, three. Two, one, take it down, full range of motion up. You're still squeezing the booty, just like in that regular squat, just like in that front squat that we did. But it's a little bit different because your knees are facing out. We're getting that inner thigh right here. Squeeze it. Keep this for 10 seconds. Can you get a little bit lower? I bet you can. Five, three, Two, now we hold it. Option to just hold it here or lift side to side. We lift those heels up. All right, this is really gonna challenge our balance and get that calf muscle in there. So let's do it. Can you sink a little lower? Lift, lift. Whew, we're so close. Holding it here. You've got 10. Come on, five. We got this team. Three. Two, make the last second count, one. Good, drop the weights, shake out the legs. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of cardio. So what I want you to do, you're gonna grab the weights, put them up on your shoulder. This is called a tap back, right? So our left, or sorry, our right leg will start forward. Our left leg is back. We're just taking steps side to side. So you can go as fast or as slow as you want. Really, you wanna have a bend in that front knee and you're just getting that cardio in from side to side movement. All right, it's a lateral movement. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Let's grab those weights, make it a little more challenging. Here we go. Three, two, one, right leg forward, take that left leg back, you go side to side. Good, so right here, you're really focusing on squeezing the core 
because your core is gonna keep you up nice and steady. It can be fast, it can be slow, but I want you to keep a bend in the knee. Keep going, 10 seconds. You've got three, you've got two, you've got one, switch it out. Left leg comes forward, bend side to side with that right leg, side to side, keep the control. Right team, keep it right here. That bend in the knee, you should feel this on that standing knee in front of you. Good, keep the breath. 10 seconds, keep that bend. We've got three, we've got two, we've got one. Come down onto your mat, onto the hands and knees. Option right here, depending on what kind of weight you have, you can place that weight, squeezing it in between right where your knee is in the back of your knee. We're coming into some donkey kicks, okay? So your arms are gonna come down, we're in a tabletop position, hands underneath the shoulders, lift up that right leg, we pulse it out for 15 seconds, we'll switch sides, pulse it for 15, and then surprise, we're gonna change it, okay? All you need to know right now is those donkey kicks. If you have a weight that you can stick in there, definitely do that, it'll make it a little bit more challenging. All right, here we go. Arms down, we go in three, two, one. Lift that leg, it's a pulse. I want you to flex your foot right here, flex it, flex it. Keep that flat back, raising out from the glute. Yes, you should feel this full body workout, right? Just because we're at the end of it doesn't mean that we're done, doesn't mean that we give up, switch sides. If anything, it means that we try even a little bit harder so that we know that we did our best that we absolutely could do today. Keep going, squeeze it up and up, up and up, almost there. You've got three, two, one, drop the knee. Now, take that weight out from behind your knee if you have it, you're gonna fire hydrant to the left, right here. You're opening that knee to the side. More side booty and inner thigh work. Our fave. Keep going. Whew. Getting that booty. We got 15 seconds. Switch it, right side, take it out and in. Out to the right and in. Now the challenge here is not to move the body with it. You really just wanna focus on that squeeze from the side glute. Don't cheat those glutes. You've got five, three, two, one. Good, just sit it back for a second. Take a child's pose. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath. And then we'll come back up. Option here, we're gonna end with some abs. If you want to, you hold on to those weights. And by if you want to, I mean we should because we're gonna level up. So, let's take those weights down. We're coming onto our back. It's just one minute right here. Arms come up, we lift it up straight, and we slowly roll down. All right, when you're ready, join me here. Three, two, one. Your arms stay up, your legs stay out straight. You take it down, right? So this is nice and slow. Almost like we're laying down for my yogis, like we're coming into Shavasana. Hold it here. Listen for the change in three, two, lift those legs up side to side. So you're gonna keep those weights. You're just touching those shoelaces each side, opposite arm, opposite hand to opposite foot. Keep it up. Keeping the shoulders up off the mat the whole time you got this. Get those legs nice and straight. Almost there, almost there. You should feel this burn. You've got 10, you've got five, three, two, one. Carefully place those weights down to the side. Arms come out to your side, heels come into the glute. Just take a second, take a stretch, lift those heels up into a bridge. Lifting that booty up, squeeze it. Last bit of work here, nice. Option, come onto those tiptoes. Challenging the balance, working some different muscles. Slowly coming back down. Let's place that right ankle over the left thigh. Option to grab behind. Nice, this is our figure four stretch. We wanna have nice flexed feet. Option to take that right hand, pressing that right knee. 
Stretch out those hips. We did a lot of hip work today. Switching your side, left ankle to right knee. Option to grab through. Flexing the feet, breathing. Good. One last thing, to give yourself a big hug. Lift everything up off the mat. Shoulders, head, squeeze it here. And then exhale. We slowly roll back up to standing, taking a few torso twists, side to side. Make sure you drink water, to have a nice delicious snack, something with protein. I will see you next time. My name is Shelby, thank you.